everyone, welcome back to The List. A cyber storm is raging after Wildcat fans stormed the court in Manhattan last night. But are we all rushing to judgment? Mitch Webber has the three stories people are talking about around KC. At number one, a Sunflower Showdown shocker. And here they come, folks. But what happened next really has people talking. Kansas coach Bill Self and K-State coach Bruce Weber got pushed against the scores table when fans rushed the court. One K-State fan even seemed to size up a KU player and take a run at him. Now K-State police are looking for this guy. Coach Self later said several students hit our players, not saying like with fist, and this has to stop. At number two, you probably see this coming. Men's Journal is out with its 2015 best sandwiches in America list. And Joe's the Z-Man with its sliced brisket, melted provolone, crispy onion rings, and barbecue sauce on a Kaiser roll made the cut. A dozen chefs and food writers came up with the list. And after all, if it's good enough for Jimmy. At number three, a new documentary about KC is in production, and it's not about the usual suspects like barbecue or baseball. The goal is to be able to tell the history of Kansas City in a new way, with a new lens. Zoopolis starts in the past with fur trade before looking at the livestock industry. This project takes a look at how Kansas City wouldn't be Kansas City without understanding all of the different relationships to animals that we've had across time. Some local spots that will make the cut, Lakeside Nature Center, the Kemper Museum spider sculpture, and the Hereford Cow statue. The film will also feature our current four-legged friends. Dogs have become really kind of part of our families now. The project received funding from the Missouri Humanities Council to be used for education. We want to understand who these other species are so that we can in fact live with them. Look for Zoopolis early next year. Now you're caught up in clued in around KC.